everyone! I am doing a book review of The 22 Day Revolution by Marco Borges. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's also known as the, the Beyoncé diet or the Beyoncé vegan diet. Um, it, the 22 days comes from the idea that we can reset our habits in 21 days and so uh, the uh, diet hopes to uh, help you develop healthier eating habits during the, the 22 day um, diet and then uh, hopefully they'll, they'll stick after that. There are five guidelines for the 22 day revolution. The first one is to choose plants uh, or plant based over uh, processed foods. So the focus is really on uh, whole foods, um, it's plant based, uh, but not processed foods. So it's vegan, but it's not just vegan. It's also, or it's, it's not processed. So Oreos, for example, they're vegan, but they're not going to be part of this diet because they're not based on, on whole foods and they're, they're refined. Um, the next guideline is to eat three mindful meals a day. So to be very present and mindful of what you're eating and how much you're eating as well. Uh, to aim for, the third one is to aim for 80% carbohydrates, 10% fats, and 10% proteins in the diet, so 80-10-10. The fourth guideline is to exercise at least 30 minutes a day. And Marco Borges is a um, an exercise physiologist uh, and lifestyle coach and so he he recommends some cardio but he also has some specific resistance ex resistance exercises uh, outlined in the book. Uh, the fifth guideline is to drink water and not drink your calories. So it recommends drinking water um, before meals and, and making sure you you're really well hydrated. So as I mentioned, uh, it's a plant-based diet focused on whole foods. It has vegetables, fruits, sea vegetables, beans, whole grains. Uh, so lots of, lots of uh, plant foods. Um, it's targeting weight loss and energy. So it's hoping to increase people's vitality. So focusing on, on doing that through plants. Uh, there are uh, foods that are excluded from this diet. Those would include um, all animal products, so that's meat, fish, and seafood, dairy, and eggs, um, as well as excluding processed foods, refined foods, um, also not drinking alcohol during the 22 days, um, and also excluding soda. The diet is also gluten and soy free. Uh, I noticed that one of the, the foods that doesn't um, appear in the diet is fermented foods. So that would be something that's missing. Uh, there are a bunch of pros, in my opinion, for this diet. Um, it encourages mindful eating, um, being present while you're eating, as well as, as thinking about how full you are and, and focusing on not overeating. So eating to about 80% satisfaction. It's focused on eating plants, which I think is really great. It's encouraging vegetables. There's vegetables for breakfast some days. Uh, so I guess there's a bit of a breakfast challenge in there. Um, again, portion control is positive. There's also daily motivation as well as daily recipes. There's three recipes per day for the whole program. And the daily motivation is really positive. There are five pillars that this diet um, says are, are going to help you have success. They are eating plants, exercising, sleeping, managing your stress, and then the final one is love or vitamin L. Uh, some of the cons are that it encourages um, nutritional supplementation, um, but kind of generally. So it, it says that everyone should take a multi-mineral multivitamin, uh, as well as um, vitamin D and vitamin B12. And while vitamin D, vitamin B12 are limited in uh, plant-based diets, I, I think that um, it would need to be done on an individual basis to avoid causing imbalances. Um, it also really minimizes snacking unless you're really hungry uh, and says like really you shouldn't be snacking often. 
So that, that I felt was, was a con uh, because I think it, it could cause people to become too hungry and then um, maybe make uh, less healthy choices because of their hunger. There's also a chapter on modified dieting if you have a lot more weight to lose, for example, more than 30 pounds, and it suggests periods of fasting and, and swapping some meals, and I, I think that that could be a problem and less healthy. On this diet, um, there are case studies in the book that, that um, explain uh, challenges that people face and also explain um, how they overcame them and how people felt. Some of the positives that are shown um, are that people had increased energy, better sleep, uh, improved mood, lost weight as much as uh, was needed per individual. It could be 80 pounds, it could be five. Uh, having lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol, better digestion. There were lots of positives in the case studies. It also um, encouraged um, or it showed some of the common pitfalls and how to avoid them. For example, if you're your portion sizes are, are way too big then, or if you're eating processed foods, that, that could cause a problem um, in terms of weight loss. Uh, and I did look at reviews uh, online and um, in, on Amazon I found that, that people all said that they lost weight and I also found bloggers and, and other people across the board, everyone said that they did lose weight, varying amounts, um, and people felt like they had more energy and had better habits. However, um, people felt like snacking quite often, um, which is something that when I was reading this book, I, I'm not surprised to hear that because I, I feel that you know adding some healthy snacks would, would be great. Um, there's a meal delivery service that's connected with this that Beyonce has actually partnered with um, the author, and people felt that they lost weight, but that the food wasn't very fresh because everything is prepared in advance. Um, but people did lose weight during that. And... Uh, since this book only came out in April 2015, I wasn't able to find long-term reviews, um, but the case studies in the book for long-term review reviews, if people stuck with a modified version of this diet, maybe they add in a little bit of meat or a little bit of alcohol once in a while, that they still found that they were able to maintain their weight. Uh, the concerns or suggestions, uh, so the concerns I had, I've already mentioned, that there wasn't enough snacking, so I would suggest adding some healthy snacks, like carrots. Um, for example, carrots and hummus for, for a healthy snack. Um, being careful with the supplementation was another thing I mentioned. Um, there's a lot of um, goitrogenic foods, so foods that can um, make it harder for, the, for iodine uptake, which supports the thyroid. And, and so flaxseed was one of those, and there's a lot of milled flaxseed in the recipes, as well as like raw kale and brassicas. So depending on the client, you may want to um, be careful with that. However, it's soy free, so that's that's uh, not a worry. Um, it did the 22 day revolution encourages drinking lots of water, which is wonderful. However, it does encourage drinking water with your meals, which I would say not to drink as much because it could dilute your stomach acid and, and um, inhibit better or proper digestion. Um, it did recommend a bit of 22 day revolution or 22 day uh, brand protein powder and bars just a few times but in a in a smoothie I would suggest going for a whole food option like chia seeds or hemp seeds instead of the protein powder which is you know fragmented and um, and if you have a whole food option why not go with that the the diet doesn't really focus on on weight as much as feeling good about yourself achieving your goals um, taking care of yourself however, um, the author recommends weighing yourself every day as a tool to find out how much you weigh and whether the diet's working. I think, I, depending on the client, I would, I would encourage um, not using the scale as much and focusing on other uh, factors of health. What does health mean to them? How do they feel? Do they have energy? And, and even just how is their body feeling? And, and not focusing on, on their weight. So this has been my review of The 22 Day Revolution by Marco Borges. And uh, I think it does look like a, a pretty sound, sustainable diet with a few modifications. And, uh, and it looks like the, the recipes are um, pretty good. So uh, I hope that you find this helpful and uh, have a good day. Thank you.